Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today's video is going to be very interesting one as we will try to understand why LC this MK1 is going to be the obvious choice for the tender issued for 18 light combat aircraft by Malaysia. The most important is a series of incident that has happened and it's the key which drives the geopolitical decisions. So let's get started. On 1st June 2021, it was reported that 16 Chinese military transport planes came close to violating Malaysian airspace after they were detected conducting suspicious activity over the South China Sea and the Royal Malaysian Air Force RMAF has to scramble its Hawk 208 jets to ward them off. Against the backdrop of Chinese military aircraft incursion into its airspace, the Malaysian Defence Ministry published a request for bids for the supply and delivery of new light combat aircraft dubbed as Fighter Lead-In Trainer Light Combat Aircraft FLIT LCA. Interestingly, it does have LCA in its name. The RFI was issued on 22nd June, the same month Chinese military aircraft reported coming close to Malaysian exclusive economic zone. Under the RMAF's Capability 55 Cap 55 Future Force Structure Program, the service intends to field three fleet LC squadrons by 2055. The new procurement initiative would fill the requirement for the first of these three squadrons. The South Asian country has invited proposals from various competitors including FA-50 light attack aircraft developed by Korea Aerospace Industries KAI, M346 FA fighter attack aircraft variant developed by Leonardo of Italy, Yak-130 combat trainer aircraft developed by United Aircraft Corporation of Russia and JF-17 of China. Out of these five competitors, only Tejas MK-1A and JF-17 are full-fledged fighter jets and remaining jets are primarily developed for training with light combat capabilities. Now first, let's talk about the best fighter jet among them which is undoubtedly Intergalactic Fighter JF-17. That was supposed to be a joke though. But unfortunately, JF-17 is out of the competition due to Chinese military planes misadventure on 1st of June. If Malaysia buys Chinese fighter jets, it will have to be dependent on China for its spare parts, maintenance and weapon packages. China will definitely use this as a tool to bargain in its own interest. Also, it will be a military strategy blunder if you are trying to use Chinese technology against China. Next, let's talk about Russian Yak-130. If Malaysia buys Yak-130, may run into the risk of US sanctions. However, India might still need approval from US to sell its jet equipped with American-made GE404 engine. Both Yak-130 and M346FA are no match in terms of capabilities with Tejas MK-1A, so we will not discuss about them. The only fighter that is somewhat close to Tejas MK-1A in terms of capabilities is KAI's FA-50. However, Tejas weapon packages such as Pramhos NG, Astra MK-1A along with other Russian missiles gives it an upper edge over FA-50. And it's something which sends chill to the PLA, Navy and Air Force. There's also discussion that Tejas might be rejected due to Israeli components used in it. However, same holds true for FA-50. Both fighter jets uses Israeli ELM-2052 AESA radar, but HAL will offer Uttam AES radar to Malaysian Air Force and KAI has no such indigenous options. We have also made a detailed video and compared both the fighter jets and the link for the same can be found under the description section. While well, capability is one factor, but the most important factor is money. The GDP of India is nearly 7.5 times that of Malaysia. So definitely Malaysia have pretty less defense budget. To sort out this problem, an MOU was signed with Metals and Minerals Trading Corporation of India as 
चैनलाइजिंग पार्टनर फॉर इम्पोर्ट ऑफ पाम ऑयल फॉर लाइकली काउंटर ट्रेड फॉर सेल ऑफ एल सी तेजस टू रॉयल मलेशियन एयरफोर्स दिस आई वुड से इज अ मास्टर स्ट्रोक एज मलेशिया विल नॉट हैव टू स्पेंड अ सिंगल डॉलर फॉर बाइंग एल सी ए तेजस फ्रॉम इंडिया एट द सेम टाइम एच ए एल विल गेन एक्सेस टू मलेशियन मार्केट विच कैन फर्दर एक्सटेंड टू एडिशनल थर्टी सिक्स फाइटर जेट ऑर्डर एज प्लान बाई मलेशिया बाई ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी फाइव This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.